NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has given us a glimpse of the faraway cosmos, but it has also helped us better understand our own neighborhood in the universe, our solar system. Hubble wasn't designed to look at objects in our solar system, but after it was launched, astronomers realized that with just a little bit of modification to the software, it could look at solar system objects. The telescope has to track their motion to keep the picture stable. That was done, and there's been no turning back. Because Hubble's been up so many years now, it's actually given us a window into things like how the planet's atmospheres actually change, evolve over time. Hubble's ability to catch dramatic changes on planets came into full focus during its early days, when it was at the right place at the right time. Look at that! To capture a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic collision. Nearly two dozen fragments of the doomed comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 plowed into the giant planet Jupiter with mind-boggling results. Just beautiful timing. You can't script that, right? I mean, the timing worked out such that Hubble was in position. I think we can thank that event for kind of, you know, being the, the bellwether moment for the Hubble mission. While Hubble doesn't actually travel to other planets, it's been the advanced scout for interplanetary missions. Dawn is a spacecraft designed to take a close-up look at an asteroid and a dwarf planet between Mars and Jupiter, and look for clues as to how our own Earth was formed from smaller space debris. Vesta and Ceres were both discovered more than 200 years ago, and for most of that time, they were just faint lights in the sky. But more recently, Hubble has brought these faint lights into view as small worlds. It's actually been able to detect objects that were too small to be detected by the Voyager spacecraft when it flew by Uranus and Neptune. We're talking about objects that are maybe eight miles across. But looking for objects that tiny when you're millions of miles away is not an easy task. It's kind of a needle in the haystack problem. Like, could any of these little blips be a real moon? We've used the Hubble images for a number of years to help us plan our mission and to be able to understand how the Dawn mission can accomplish all of its goals to understand better how these bodies formed and what they're made of. By spotting all the small moons of Pluto that we know about, all four of them, Hubble has opened up a new world in terms of observations that we want to make, objects in the system that we want to study. The New Horizons mission that passed Pluto in July of 2015 credits Hubble with contributing to the success of the flyby. It wasn't for Hubble, we would almost be going in blind compared to the knowledge that we actually have. Here's some of those beautiful Mars images from the Hubble Space Telescope showing you the atmosphere and how it changes with time. Hubble's longevity over 25 years gives the telescope a huge advantage in monitoring long-term changes in the solar system. Planetary missions are great, but they're usually only brief snapshots of those planets and also really very close up. Hubble actually can see the planet before, during, and after. And so it allows us to take that mission data and put it in that broad context. And having that broader picture allows us to see the excitement of a sometimes unpredictably dynamic solar system. This sweeping vision of our planetary siblings also gives us better insight of our own small blue world. From the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Mary Stacion.